we started four or five years ago uh, on our own doing a little test plot uh, right here by the river and we wanted to find out if the irrigation project that we were intentionally doing would work. After that first year we were so amazed by the results uh, that we couldn't help but do the rest of that field which is a 30 acre block. Uh, we ended up um, doing that with the partnership for the TCAA area, uh, working with FDAX, the water management, EPA, DEP, uh, and some other uh, agencies. Uh, IFAS from University of Florida helped us out and we were able to finish that area and then on our own uh, we took in some ground that hadn't been farmed in 15-20 years uh, because it is such hard, hard ground to irrigate uh, that we were able to fa start farming that area so we were able to pick up some acres because of the efficiency of it uh, and with the partnership uh, whether it's water quality projects uh, we were then able to also uh, get some fertilizer banding equipment which is right here behind me uh, this equipment allows us to not uh, fling our fertilizer out anymore. Uh, we no longer use our spreader. Uh, this equipment drops the fertilizer directly on top of the row, uh, right where it needs to be. Uh, there's zero waste. Uh, that on top of uh, the irrigation project we're doing, uh, we're able to maximize efficiency out of our land. Um, we have zero waste of fertilizer going into the water furs, which is how we used to irrigate. Uh, so there's no runoff of fertilizer um, and with the water uh, we're now able to bring that water table up evenly and it goes down evenly. Uh, the plants are all uniform because they're able to take the same moisture uh, at the same time with the same amount of fertilizer. There's no variance. Everything is uniform as best that we can make it on a farm. Uh, and we have really been able to increase yield uh, because of that. Both of them combined um, have helped in that and along with our BMPs have really aided uh, in, in our farm uh, on those project areas and, and ultimately uh, we are using this equipment uh, on the entire farm. Uh, the irrigation we're doing a little bit each year uh, getting our worst areas out of the way so we can maximize uh, production on our lower producing areas uh, to get them up to par and now what we'd like to do is further that into good irrigating ground um, and maximize that in ways that we don't know yet. Um, to grow a true uniform crop on the entire farm is something that I'm really excited about. And we will be able to save millions and millions and millions of gallons of water just on this farm alone. And I'm encouraging growers in our area, in our state, in our region, across the country to do what they can uh, whenever I get an opportunity to speak with them.